Hey you guys, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by the channel. It's your girl, Coach Chris, and we are here to empower fitness beginners on their journey in the weight room. I'm glad you're here today because it's January. A lot of things have happened over the course of the last 12 months. Some of our goals may not have actually come to fruition. I want this year to be different for you. Now, this is not gonna be a fluffy goal setting um, type of video. There's plenty of videos out there that you can go and find for goal setting. But what I want to talk to you about is something that we may not have heard about too much in the health and fitness industry. And it's something that actually really bothers me to my core because habits and changing those habits are really affected by these four things that I'm going to talk about today in this video. What I truly wanted to make with this Muscle Mindset Academy is a place where women can come and actually figure out every step of the process. There are fitness trainers out there that will give you a program and give you nutrition and be done. Mindset can really be a big issue for us and sometimes hold us back from even beginning or it'll hold us back from being consistent. Before I started my journey, I was someone who had no idea what to do. I was overwhelmed. I didn't like my body. I saw a picture of myself and I could not tell you the feelings that I had inside. I hope that if you're in a place right now, especially given the way the world is right now, if you're feeling anxiety, depression, stress, fear, and it's preventing you from being the best version of yourself, I got you. I understand where you're coming from. And sometimes you need someone on your side that sees things from a very different lens that can push you, but in the right way. We all know the things that it takes to be healthy, but everybody's version of health can be so different. Sometimes mindset is the biggest thing you need to be healthy. The way you view your body, the way you view you exercising, and the things that you tell yourself while you're working out are all gonna play into this. So that's what the Muscle Mindset Academy is all about. It's truly bridging the gap between that uh, beginner who's struggling to get in the gym and the building up the confidence that it takes to keep it consistent over a long period of time. The Muscle Mindset Academy really has four big pillars that you get walked through throughout the whole program. And this is where your goal setting really comes into play. Your first step is that self-awareness phase. And this is what we're gonna talk about now, today in this video. And it's also the biggest part, in my opinion, to even getting started when you're completely overwhelmed. I'm gonna actually link below the link to download the checklist. It's a free roadmap that you can download with the four secret hacks to a healthy routine. If you want, download that. And if you wanna hear more about what I have to say about it, I'll talk about it in this video. Step two is mindset. Like I said, if you don't have the mindset to push yourself out of this uh, place that you're in right now, it's going to be so hard for you. And it's not as easy as just reading some affirmations. Some people have way bigger struggles and we need to dig deep into emotional eating, self-sabotage, anything related to nutrition that really feeds that inner critic that hurts you and affects you in the long run. Step three is planning. This is where my favorite part comes into play. We take all of the self-awareness things that we've learned about you, your routine, your schedule, what you're successful at, what you like to do, what you don't like to do. What are your biggest triggers? We take all of this and your mindset, which is causing a lot of these, and we put together a plan. Now, this is where I thrive. I love writing programs for people. You can't do a cookie cutter workout program. I don't think that they work. I think, like from a consistency standpoint, sure. But if you're someone with limitations that, or struggles for, let's say you have any form of pain, knee pain, back pain, anything. If you are someone who has limited mobility for whatever reason, if you're someone who has uh, limited access to equipment, that can be a really big issue for some people. They just don't know how to do things. Or if you have dietary issues or struggles or things like that, you really want someone who understands all of that and understands your background as well as where you're wanting to go and really creates a customized experience. Step four is the implementation phase. This is 
I mean, I would say this is the most important, but I honestly, they're all very, very important. <laughs> but implementation, because I, I can't plan something for you and then you just never do it. You're never going to achieve the body that you want by just, you know, looking at a program. You got to do it, right? But the beauty of my program, it is completely fail safe. You're, you can't, you're, you can't lose. You can't quit because it's all driven one on one communication on a daily basis. I'm watching everything that you do. Sounds a little scary probably, but I'm watching every single thing you do so I can always help steer you back. So that's a quick summary of what the Muscle Mindset Academy is all about. And my friend, I hope that that inspired you. I hope it excited you. And if that's something that you're truly interested in doing, I have a five day Facebook challenge that will be starting January 25th. And you need to click the link right here in the description in order to even get in. It'll be a private Facebook group and it's only for the people involved. And in that challenge is where we really dig deep into each one of these steps that I'm going to share with you in the self-awareness phase. So now that we got that out of the way and you got a little background on what I'm all about and what I teach and what I believe, I'm going to go into the four biggest things that you need to do in order to set the right health and fitness goals. It's great if you want to be like, oh, okay, well, I want to start drinking more water and I'm going to have a checklist every single day. I'm going to get X amount of water in. I'm going to have three servings of veggies every single day. Most of us, let's be honest, we've probably done that before. And you'll probably hear a lot of other people on YouTube talking like that. This is different though, because for me, what I need to look at is, okay, where do I struggle the most? Sometimes it's not even fitness related. Sometimes it's energy. And you start looking at your day and you're like, what is draining my energy to the point where I don't have the energy to work out? You think your your problem is that you're lazy when in reality, you just probably are wasting too much time doing certain activities that are draining you mentally or emotionally, right? Like social media, hello, that's a big one, you guys. So I want us to talk about those four things. Number one, lifestyle. Create some kind of lifestyle tracker. If you come to the challenge, I will be providing one for you that you can use literally every single day. And the key here is to write out every single 30 minute increments from the moment you wake up to the moment that you go to sleep. It may sound a little weird at first and you don't have to do it forever, but I would recommend about a week, at least three or four days, um, depending on what type of life you have. So if you are someone who are, is very consistent, they work five days a week and you know like your schedule is extremely predictable that you don't have to do it that long. But if you're someone who you have your kids one week and the other week you don't and you share like co-parenting, your life may look completely different between those two weeks. And just go through the whole thing. And then next to it, I want you to start putting pluses, minuses, or equal signs based around the things that you consider to be positive or negative or neutral behaviors. That's a really big one. So if you consider social media scrolling a good thing, maybe because of your job and you're doing research, that's a positive. But if you're spending your time on social media and you're just scrolling and wasting time and watching funny videos and laughing and going down a spiral of, you know, TikTok videos, that may be a negative thing. So really figure out in that moment what you're doing. Is it positive, negative, or it's a neutral behavior? Maybe it's just brushing your teeth. It's just part of life. Then you just put it neutral. At the end of all of that, I want you to go back and highlight every single negative that you came across. And I want you to figure out why was it a negative behavior? What could you have done differently in that pattern, right? And figure out what the commonalities are between all your days. If you notice that you're spending two hours on social media every single night and that's a negative for every day, let's take care of that. That's not fitness related, but it damn sure is health related, you guys. Mental health and just keeping your sanity and just like not wasting time. Your sleep schedule is gonna be off. All these things happen when you're on social media too long, right? So I want you guys to take that approach, write down everything that you're doing, figure out what your current lifestyle looks like because when you see it on paper, it's gonna be a lot different than when you are just like going back in your mind and thinking stuff through. Number two, 
This is a journaling exercise. So what I want us to think about is instead of a journal where you're writing gratitudes and positive affirmations, I'd like us to take the approach of a diary. If you're like most girls, we all had a diary at some point, right? So I want you to go through at the end of your day, just take like 10 minutes and just think back, like what happened today? And I want you to write down, not the actual action, because you already did that with your lifestyle tracker, but I want you to go back and be like, did I wake up like super irritated today? Was I just like in a bad mood and I hated every single person I came across today? Was I super happy for whatever reason? Did I have a massive headache all day? Like what was I feeling? How was I feeling that day? Usually you'll start to find patterns in how you feel in certain times of the day, right? So certain times of the day, you may be gravitating towards eating or you may be avoiding exercise because you feel a certain way. I want you to challenge yourself in writing down just what your thoughts, what your feelings were that day, then go back and compare those feelings with what you did that day, the actual behaviors you did, and how many negatives did you have that may have been feeding into that emotion that you wrote about. That's a big one, you guys. Seriously, stop right now. If you started zoning out, I want you to listen to that. Take what you wrote in your diary and compare it to your daily action steps and see how much negative you had to link up to that. Number three is nutrition. So nutrition will play a really big part of all of our lives. Obviously, we eat all the time, but I'm not talking about like going out and eating a bunch of vegetables and salads and broccoli and well, all the, all the vegetables, but I do want you to start tracking your food. So this doesn't have to mean that you change all the behaviors, but I do want you to log everything that you're drinking and eating. As you notice, there's a pattern here. You're going to have one for your lifestyle and all the behaviors of that day. You're going to have one for your emotions. You're going to have one for your food intake. And at the end of it, you can look at all of it and be like, okay, why? Like you'll start to see the connections. And when you go back to that lifestyle tracker, those are the daily action steps. That is the process that will get you your success. We just need to figure out and connect the dots on what is affecting that. Why are you doing that behavior in the first place? I really urge you guys to take this um, exercise and really run with it and do it as long as you need to for everything to start clicking for you. Once it clicks, I promise it will be a lot easier to actually set goals because you know how they're affecting you right now. But I want you to find a solution to that feeling you're having. I want us both to come to the table and that's what the challenge is all about because you're gonna actually talk to me one-on-one -on -one to get the best inspiration to do this. And step four is, well, like I kind of mentioned, support. So there's no way that we can do these things without someone in our life that's supporting us. I never recommend having a husband, boyfriend, best friend, sister helping us on this journey. I know we all want workout buddies and we think that's gonna hold us accountable. In reality though, let's face it, the people closest to you are not going to push your butt into what you need to be doing because they're your best friends. They're the people that you love the most. They're too close to the situation. You need someone who's a complete outsider looking in and helping you. You are more willing and likely to get the things that you need done rather than if it's a husband. The husband will be on your side always. He will make up the exact same excuses that you made for yourself. And he's like, you know, babe, whatever makes you happy, right? So I need you guys to find some, so, uh, some form of support system. Typically that's gonna be in the form of a coach, but usually those people are gonna be able to help you align all of the things that are going on in your life with the goals that you have. So I'm really, really excited. I really hope that you take this seriously because it was eye-opening for all of the girls that did my challenge before, and I want you guys to use this too. So come to this challenge and we will be having some fun, okay? If you want more details about this, again, check out the download at the bottom and then 
do the challenge with me where we can actually look at all those things and just talk about it more in depth. And there's a few other things that we add in relation to mindset in that challenge that are really gonna help you get all of this put together. Also, there is a checklist at the back. Those are the only six things that I think are truly important for someone who's a complete beginner and overwhelmed with the gym and working out and being healthy. There's so many things that you could be thinking of and all the things you should be doing to be healthy. But in reality, six things, in my opinion, are gonna be the key to your success. I hope that this was something that was actually applicable to you. And let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions. Please like, subscribe if this is content that you like and you would like to hear more about. I'll see you in the next clip.